Hey quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner and I've got another fun little tutorial style video today to share with you. So this one is a feather um, video and I am showing you how I quilt feathers in a border. So I get a lot of questions. I tell people all the time, you know, and if you've watched a lot of my videos, you probably already know this, but I try not to turn my quilts unless I really absolutely need to. So I quilt a lot of feathers on a lot of quilts in a lot of borders, and I always try to not turn my quilts unless I really need to. So when you're quilting a feather, especially a continuous feather all the way around a quilt, sometimes it's beneficial to turn the quilt and quilt that feather more of a continuous line. You know, that's something I do occasionally do. It's not my favorite, but I do do it when it's necessary. The way I'm going to show you today though, I'm actually quilting the feather, so I quilted all the way along the top edge of the quilt because that's a continuous section, you know, kind of a piece that goes like that along the top and a little ways down the sides, the, allow, the amount that's allowed in my throat space. But then as I'm advancing the quilt, and if you're quilting on a long arm, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but I only am left with, you know, 18, 20 inch spaces. I'm quilting on a 22 inch Gamel machine, so I have 18, about 20 inches of work, you know, workable space. So the video today, I'm going to show you right how I can, or how I continue that design seamlessly so that when I take this quilt off the machine, my feather looks like a continuous feather. How I stitch my spine to make it appear as if it's coming right out from the previous spine, working in little sections and increments. So let's get to the video. <laughs> So to quilt a seamless feather like I'm doing here, I know it's kind of difficult to see this in some portions of this video, but I hope this will help you a little bit. You know, I know that a lot of people struggle connecting the feathers together and feel like they have to stop and start. So I hope this video does inspire you today. Also, if you want more feather inspiration, make sure you check out my book, Visual Guide to Free Motion Quilting Feathers. All right, so the very first thing that I do is I start out stitching my spine. I always stitch my spine first. Now, a little bit difficult to see because it was near the top of the quilt, up near my um, bar, and that hides it a little bit, but the first thing I do is start stitching my spine coming right off of where the previous spine ended. Then from there, I'm stitching kind of a wavy back and forth line. Notice I did not do any marking. This is just a wavy line keeping my spacing pretty consistent through the center of this border section. Stitch all the way down as far as my throat space will allow me. I'll take a few tie-off stitches there, cut my threads, and then I'll move back up to the top of my feather and I'll start stitching. I love to stitch just one side of the feather at a time. I feel like I get really great results. You know, for my brain, it also works better to just do one side of it at a time. If you can do two sides at a time, Go for it, there's nothing at all wrong with that. After I've stitched one side of the feather, all the way down as far as my throat space will allow me, I'll clip my threads, and I've done those tie-off stitches, clip my threads and move right back up to where I started that previous feather on the other side, but also where the feather ended. Okay, so right up at the top of that feather. <laughs> From there, I'll stitch right down the second side of that feather, moving down towards my body and just filling in that outside of the feather design all the way down my feather or all the way down my border space. From there, after I get as far down as I can, I'll clip those threads and I'm ready to move on. I'll repeat this process working all the way down the side of the quilt when I take the quilt off of fabulous seamless feather. I hope that inspired everybody a little bit with your machine quilting feathers. Like I said, make sure to check out my book, Visual Guide to Free Motion Quilting Feathers. I hope you find a little bit of inspiration there. 